I'm Tyler McGraw. I'm a consultant with Yellowfin. I'm Chris Benham. I'm a Chief Marketing Officer for Yellowfin. When we look at the market, we look at BI, we think the market is enamored with the data discovery aspect of it. How do we get that information together? How do we pretty it up and share it? We're not really looking to be the authors. We want to get the information so that we can generate and report on the insights ourselves, as opposed to someone giving it to us packaged up and, and ready to go. Enterprises are looking for what we call analytical applications. That's what's sort of below the waterline, as opposed to what most people see every day, which again are the dashboards, etc. We believe there's a lot more behind and underneath. Um, we also believe that the challenge with desktop analytics is they don't scale well. And that's where people are trying to shoehorn them into enterprises, and we believe that's not exactly the best approach. We've created what we believe is the platform for developing and delivering those analytical applications. We are not and don't want to position ourselves as a full-fledged ETL tool, desktop discovery tool, or statistical analysis tool. You know, we have a cloud-based BI solution. He'll talk about how truly cloud-based it is. So we think more and more folks are looking for an open platform to actually build their business intelligence solution around. So we believe the collaboration element is critical. Data security is important as, as the data starts to get shared. Um, you got to figure out how to maintain that and protect it. Um, price points are a challenge as well. A lot of our competitors will bring you in and then start selling you a lot more on the back end. And suddenly what started out as a manageable and affordable solution uh, escalates in order for you to benefit from all of the tools. Uh, so we believe there's got to be a better way to integrate uh, at a manageable price point. So we're up to 10,000 customers, we got 2 million end users, and we are deployed in over 70 countries. In the U.S., we think ISVs and partners are very important for us. Uh, we've seen good traction already. Uh, but our sweet spot is somebody who does not want to pay a huge sticker shock for a, for a BI tool, or they want to embed it in their own. Uh, solution and don't want to pay a huge royalty. This data that we're sharing is from a BARC survey and it says that on average in the industry there's a 17% adoption rate of the BI tools within an organization and it's been we believe pretty consistently stuck between 12 and 20% for 10 plus years or so and so given that this is sort of stuck um, this is one of the things we've focused on is figuring out how to make it more broadly appealing and therefore more broadly adopted. Adoption rate within an organization on average is 17% for the industry. Ours is 39%. Our content gets, gets consumed nearly three times more often. This is something that we do better and that we're going to continue to do better. It's a simple, elegant solution that you can deploy and, and people are actually going to use it. We think traditionally the BAI uh, solutions available have failed to include the business users as well as they should. I mean, depending on what you're doing, you might be just a consumer. And yet, there may be one aspect of your job where you're the creator. The producer of the, the producer yeah, of that content. Yeah. And if I'm an analyst at my desktop with my own little private Idaho there, uh, you it's are tough. From Idaho. Yeah, you I am from Idaho. Idaho. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it's tough for me to, to scale that out. And I might have the very best model in the company. I might have created the best uh, organizational influencer here as an analyst, but if I can't get it in front of the people in the organization, um, that diminishes my effectiveness as a business analyst. We have a home for you as a data analyst, but remember, you gotta look up from your desk every once in a while and share this information across your organization. If you're gonna influence any kind of substantive outcomes in your organization, if, if the ecosystem originates or lives on your desktop, it's never gonna scale. Uh, it's never gonna scale the way you need it to. You, you can't just introduce this new shared concept of BI You've got to make a cultural shift as well and say, hey, here's my data steward. They're going to do the very best to make sure that my data is accurate. But at the end of the day, as the consumer, I need to make sure that I'm going to agree with and, and use that single source of the truth. And uh, it, I think one of the reasons that so many BI projects fail, at least again from my consulting point of view, is they try to be all things to all people and they end up being an exercise in mediocrity. I've said, well, what do you want to analyze? What does your data model look like? Oh, we're just going to capture everything and put it in the cloud, and then we'll analyze the parts that we want. And it's, it's a horrible concept for BI. Analyzing everything is akin to analyzing nothing. Pick what you're good at and stick with it. Let's pick what we're good at, and let's be better than anybody else.